Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we're taking a look at singles. I'm going to take a look at your energy and the energy around you. Now keep in mind with the singles reading, we could get something from the past coming back. We could get someone, maybe you're just starting to date, get to know that you've just met. Or somebody totally new coming into your energy so welcome in welcome in hope everyone's doing well staying safe and healthy at this time this is for Sun moon rising Venus male or female general collective reading so please only take it how it resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can I guess reverse energies around if you feel like you need to in some way you definitely can do that now there will be an extended reading Scorpio and the cards that you see me placing over here those will be for your extended reading and I'll show you those a little bit later. I'll tell you more about the extended reading later but in the extended reading I'm doing it a little bit different. If this does not resonate for you or something comes up where well, I don't want that person back if it's something about the ex, uh, ex or past returning you have no interest in it, it's probably not your reading and just because your name not your name your sign is on it it does not mean you have to accept this reading or claim it as yours if it does not resonate I do have to stress that all right Scorpio but in the extended we're gonna look at new love only which is just new 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 and new love to me can be maybe somebody you know but you've never been romantically involved with somebody again like you've just dated started uh, getting to know or someone totally new coming into your energy but the singles here leaves it open to maybe the past returning or other energy so we'll see here all right Scorpio singles all right those two and for your extended all right Scorpio let's see what we have and it just started pouring out pouring 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 all right so we have here watch your thoughts it's important to only think about what you desire not what you fear so be careful what you're thinking and how you're thinking it and we have break free try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn and we have here lotus flower unfoldment so something definitely unfolding here in dawn new beginning so i feel like here Scorpio you definitely are breaking free from something you have a new beginning on the horizon in some way shape or form maybe unfolding very slowly slow progression we do have pink energy here pink to me is all about new love just as on the card here of break free so a new beginning is on the horizon so either you need to break free or you just recently or maybe in the past broke free from something with all this rain that's happening right now I don't know if you can hear that but you may have done a lot of purging, purging, healing, um, cleansing your energy. But it's also telling you to try to stay in a high vibration. Don't let the past fear or whatever you broke free from, um, you know, affect your future energy here. All right. So let's see what is going on here for you, Scorpio new beginning and I feel like it's new love coming in and you definitely broke free from something and don't let that drag that energy drag you down that's kind of what I feel so if it does come out here new energy and it doesn't resonate but you're interesting interested and um, we're still gonna look into new, new love again in the extended readings so we'll see what comes out here I mean this could be somebody you already know um, this new beginning all right all right let's see singles maybe love won't even come out here i know it's intended to be a love reading but we'll see so i'm going to take a look at your energy first scorpio oh i wanted four so we have eight of cups so you definitely have walked away from something that was no longer serving you judgment so this is about healing forgiving those things of the past letting them go life review relationship review this usually is about you know uh, resurrection but it could be about res for me resurrecting something so you can heal forgive and let it go make that judgment call so that the new can come in that's better suited for you because we do have 20 which would reduce to two which is about choices decisions partnerships unities king of swords 
So we have Gemini energy here. So this is being very clear minded. You may be more in analytical right now, practical, wise, smart than you are emotional. We have four of pentacles. So I feel like you're kind of protecting your energy, feeling stable, grounded, uh, protecting your personal power. I feel like you really are probably rebuilt yourself and you probably are just very analytical right now king but then we do have the king of cups energy for me this is um pisces but it very well could be you king or queen it doesn't matter you may, may be more if you are a female watching this you may be more in your masculine energy so just be kind of uh, careful of that energy and we do have the page of swords ear energy so this could be um You know, if you're if you're spying on someone from the past, I would say stop that. I mean, um, that's not going to get you anywhere. Especially maybe keeping you stuck with the Four of Pentacles here, but also, you know, maybe you're considering. Um, yes, yeah, so we have the Emperor here, so you may be more in your masculine energy. There may be may be a need to balance out your energy here. Uh, we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Something faded and destined. New beginning is coming in on your path. But I feel like... I don't know. We'll see how that goes with you. I feel like you're heavy, heavy in masculine energy. I mean, King of Cups kind of holds back from love. So I feel like you're refraining. I mean, you may have somebody interested in you with this Page of Swords. Maybe checking you out. You kind of know that, but maybe you're not really interested. Or you're not giving it any attention but there's something definitely uh, you need to break free of or you have already but let's see what the energy is around you Scorpio I feel like you're not interested in love really I think you're holding back from love so yes yeah, so look at this page of cups there's somebody interested in you Scorpio that may be interested in you know romantic gesture you know taking you out making an offer seven of pentacles but i feel like you're just kind of you know doing your thing not really giving it any attention could be somebody you work with all right let's get because seven of pentacles can be an energy of something that already has some sort of that's investments attached to it so whether or not you maybe you work with this person and they're interested in you but i feel like um yeah three of cups they like to date you take you out get to know you have a good time oh i don't mean as like have a good time as you know whatever but just like let's go out let's socialize let's date let's let's see where this goes but i don't know if you're really having it all right let's see what else here scorpio page of pentacles wow a lot of pages here <laughs> And that is about making an offer, wanting to make an offer. Let's go on a date. Let's go for coffee. Let's go for a drink. Can we talk? Kind of energy. All right, what else here? Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands. I think they're a little confused here, Scorpio. I mean, Seven of Cups can talk of confusion, illusionment, you know, choices, options, decisions, not sure what to do here. They may feel like you have um, a wall up, you have boundaries, but this is all about perseverance also with the nine of wands. So I think once they do make that offer, whether you say yes or no, they're going to still persevere, but you know, they still have to um, get the confidence to make that first initial offer. In, in even if once they make that first offer and once and even if you say no they're still gonna persevere <laughs> all right what else here for scorpio scorpio four of cups yeah they're not sure if you would even accept their offer the four of cups energy and they could see you as someone who is like not even really giving like you're refraining from love right now i feel with this king of cups um you're just moving forward in life right now, uh, you know, work, career, family, friends, analytical, business-minded kind of energy, not really having love on the mind. Because the King of Cups to me sometimes can hold back, refrain from verbalizing how they truly feel. See, Ace of Swords. So that definitely is the truth here for some. 
divine clarity from source. This could be awakening, epiphany, aha moment. I feel like somebody here clearly knows how they feel about you, Scorpio. They've had that awakening, epiphany. They would like to have a conversation. They would like to talk to you, tell you how they feel. But they feel like they're going to be met with this wall. They could feel it. They could feel that you have your wall up. Like you're protecting yourselves here. yourself here with the Four of Pentacles. But the universe is like, look, <laughs> new beginning is here. Let it unfold. Watch how you're thinking, talking, speaking, acting, um, presenting yourselves, yourself, the universe, the world. Could be traveling or distance, but new cycle is here. Old cycle ended. This person is ready to start a new cycle. Could be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. All right, what else here? What else is around Scorpio? King of Wands, Leo energy. Someone very fiery, passionate. They could be an entrepreneur, own their own business. Uh, high, someone of high ranking, authority. Someone who is creative, a go-getter, passionate, exciting, inspirational. Very attracted to you also. Ready to rush in with that torch and start a new beginning. In the new beginning here, I just noticed here there is kind of like a baby at her feet. I never noticed that before. So it's like this new beginning is right at your feet if you step into it. What else here for Scorpio? It is pouring out. Three of Swords. So I feel like I feel like this person would approach you anyway even if they get their heart broken i don't think they they don't want to miss the opportunity they get their heart broken they get it broken at least they try yeah communication here eight of wands exactly this person's gonna go for it even if they get their heart broken they're like you know what i gave it a go i gave it a try i went for it scorpio broke my heart um at least i tried so I do see here travel, action, communication, Cupid's arrows being sent. So they're going to do it anyway here. Three of Wands. They've been waiting. But they've been waiting and waiting. You know, trying to make that decision to come forward. I think Ten of Swords here. They just can't take it anymore. Because what do we have next is the Page of Wands. Sending out the communication. Approaching, saying, you know, would you like to go out sometime? Definitely single energy here, nine of pentacles. But I feel like Scorpio, queen of pentacles being, you know, thought of being in another uh, connection, relationship may overwhelm you here with the ten of wands. Queen of pentacles energy, a Capricorn. I don't know. Knight of pentacles here, you know. Knight of pentacles and the emperor. Somebody who is going to take control, lead charge of this, and come forward anyway. It's been taking a long time. And I feel like, again, you're moving forward in your masculine energy. So again, there may be a need to balance that out here. Scorpio. So I mean, totally up to you, Scorpio. But I see this person is going to approach you anyway, even if they get their heart broken. broken. They've been waiting and waiting, and they just can't, can't take it anymore. They're like, let Scorpio break my heart. I don't care. I have to get it off my chest. I have to tell Scorpio how I feel. All right, so let's see what else. Again, you can switch these energies around if you feel like you need to. So let's see what the universe has for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. What does the universe have to say about this, Scorpio? White. Purity, innocence, safety, light. So this person is coming from a pure place. Eggs incubation. They've been waiting so long, hoping for a new beginning. But bones indestructible. I feel like they're going to be met with this hard exterior. And they're going to find it hard to break through. Someone who's going to be very, very loyal. Swans mate for life. Apron service. So somebody could work... Um, in service in some way shape or form they definitely could own their own business as in whatever they do is a service to other people whether it's in the 
food industry or entertainment industry or something like that whatever it is here all right what else here for scorpio could be you also if you work in service in some way gray depressed detached and unemotional i definitely feel like that's your energy <laughs> i mean it may not be scorpio but i feel like you're detached from love you're just not really giving it any um thought it's like you know i'm just yeah so yeah thorns hardship been through a lot of thorns here but this person could be very very nourishing to you scorpio if you let them in ultimately that would be up to you coin support again it could be somebody you work with it's kind of or they could be an earth sign i feel uh scorpio all right so this didn't resonate for you or you're interested in new, new love too obviously if you're watching this um somehow some way you're interested in love obviously or you're just wondering what's going on for you as a single person but if you are interested in new love again the links are below and we're going to look at new only so again whether you're not you know this person maybe as a friend whatever or someone just totally new you're dating getting to know or someone totally new coming in no exes no nothing from the past returning um we'll see here so and we'll look at who are they what's their energy how when where you may meet them what that connection what that energy would be like advice guidance for you we'll get reshuffle these get more of these in that energy for that reading so we do have here friendship we have simplify your life we have clouds uh, shape shifting and we have love so i feel like it could be a friendship here that turns to more all right so we'll get into that into the extended so if you're interested in new love in the extended links are below if you guys shall see you there if not best of luck to you sending you many many light love and blessings and i shall see you next time